Welcome to join us. Right now, you are with four international students who have been studying in Southeast University for several years. This is Audrey from College of International Students of SEU. Before kicking to the point, I'd like to give you a brief introduction of each one. They are Hassan from Afghanistan, Wei Ke from Cameroon, yeah. and uh, Kalina and Jaya, both from Russia. Mm. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We will listen to what you have experienced in SEU and China under the outbreak of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, it will be a great opportunity to invite you to share with us your study tour as, as well as your local life in SEU. Now, let's get to know you first. Hassan, would you, like, uh, would you please just give us a general introduction of yourself? Yes, thank you so much uh, first to inviting us. Uh, my name is uh, Hassan mm -hmm. and I'm from Afghanistan and I'm doing my master's degree in pediatrics and I'm here since 2017. What about you, Jaya? Who, get, who give you like this very beautiful Chinese name? <laughs> so hello everyone again. So yeah, my name is Jaya, and I got this name from one of my teachers when I first got to China. It was in 2014. I came to Shanghai to learn Chinese, and yeah, my teacher gave me the name. And after two years, in 2016, I came to China again uh, to get my measure in business. So right now, I'm getting my bachelor in Southeast University, and I will graduate next year. This is really a very beautiful name, just like you. <laughs> yeah. uh, Kalina, I know, uh, I can't remember, what major did you study in SEU? I'm studying um, business administration. I'm uh -huh. getting my bachelor degree and uh, I've been already to Nanjing for three years in Hall. Oh, so the money before. Three years. <laughs> three years is not long enough competed to wake up, right? <laughs> I know that you have stayed here for many years. How long is that? It? Uh, really, I can't really remember, seriously. It's been so long. Uh, but all I can say is that uh, uh, this city, Nanjing, and SU in particular, has been part of, has been an intrinsic part of my life. Uh, this is a place where I where I, first, uh, I met my wife and where I got my daughter. It's been more than a school for me. It's been really, really a part when, where half of my, my last memory are uh, rest, or if I can say. It's very touching to hear mm -hmm. that. Yeah. It sounds like this is kind of the second home for you. Uh, yes, China. that would be true. This year, actually, 10, um, 2020 is very hard for everyone across the world. And we are definitely still be like a tough question for all the people around the world um, because of the outbreak of COVID-19, right? Yes. Mm. We first, uh, it was first spread in China, and as the international students, um, we are very, uh, we are, we are very curious to see that how you four went through that very tough period during the outbreak of the COVID-19. So, do you have anything particular that you want to share with us? Like Hasa, during the quarantine, what do you do every day? Uh, me, I was uh, a volunteer, and I am a volunteer on our campus mm -hmm. to help international students check uh, every day their temperature and distribute masks and arrange twice meals a day. Ah, so yes. you did a lot for us. And I heard the, the meals, like, speaking of the meals, I read about one piece of news before. It's about, like, uh, one of our international students, he had a restaurant. Yes. Yeah, and he provided lots of the foods for us and for the... His name is, like, uh... Hali. Ah, in, yeah, Hali. In Chinese, we call it Hali. Ah, uh, Hali. Okay. Thank you for all what you have done, Hassan, and also all the volunteers of SEU. Did the school also give you any support for this? It's my pleasure, of course, yes. As this situation, the university was totally locked down, 
the university started to give us precautions on how to not be a victim of this virus. With the help of teachers, we managed to distribute the food uh, from restaurant to the three main campuses. We as a volunteer handled the situation and managed to deal with uh, some supermarkets and start delivering supplies to our dorm gates and the requirements were really quite uh, satisfied. So, for my part, uh, during the COVID-19 uh, outbreak, like most most international students, like you know, most international students were staying in the dorms uh, for the sake of the health and safety, like my, my friend already said. Um, the funny thing is that uh, the, the school tried to, to, to relieve a uh, student from that kind of stress and a very depressive situation by organizing some activities, like for example, they organized a special cooking, oh, cooking, tutoring, uh, cooking tutoring. Where were you at the beginning of the outbreak, outbreak of epidemic, Jaya? Actually, I was home in Russia when it all started, and I came back in China in end of March. So I had to do a quarantine here. I was quarantined in a hotel, and after that, I think my life got back to normal. Mm -hmm. I know that a lot of students uh, they were staying at their home at that time, right? Yeah. Uh, so. What kind of response did the school do to this, like course or anything? Um, we started uh, classes on February 24th, like it was on schedule. And uh, so right now we still have classes online. Oh. And I can say it's a lot different from going to normal classes in the classrooms because we still have like group discussions and we do homework every day. And um, we can ask any questions to our teachers and they will always help us. So. I can say that our studies, uh, study is still very efficient, so I actually enjoy it. Yes, this outbreak changed many things uh, for me. That I started to be focused more on the present um, time because we always rush our time and we think about future, about our plan plans, goals. But actually, right now it's just you live in the moment and you don't think about. Um, future too much because right now it's very unexpected so I learned a lot. Sounds like you all have already made a good use of the quarantine time. Yes, very good students. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We tried. Yes, it was we tried. Yeah, we tried our best. <laughs> Is there anything impress you from the beginning when the first day that the virus was exploded? Um, yeah, of course I was really impressed about how Chinese government could handle the situation so fast. And like the Sari Billy hospitals, like in 10 days. And uh, I was really impressed by Chinese people. They were really disciplined and they stay home mm -hmm. uh, and do self quarantine. Mm -hmm. Like I see what's happening right now in other countries, the situation is a lot different and it's hard for people just to stay home. <laughs> That's why the situation is not under control there. So I think China did a really good job. Yeah, I agree because I also am also from Russia, so I know the situation right now. Um, but uh, I was impressed. I was always in Nanjing uh, for whole this time, and uh, I lived outside of the campus, and uh, I met, I noticed the difference that city got so quiet. It was no cars. It was no people. People were just super careful, and they did. Uh, follow all the precautions like um, glass and all um, glasses. Masks. So masks, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, of course, masks is the first. <laughs> 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 um, yes, it was very impressive, and um, I am really impressed with Chinese government and Chinese um, people how they follow all this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel very safe in Nanjing. Maybe. I'm lacking some information, or maybe I'm. Some people won't believe it, but I really feel very safe. And all my parents and friends, they were worried for me um, in February, in March. But after I started to be more worried for them, actually, because uh, I understood that everything already going down here. So right now, the situation changed. That's really a special memory for us, for <laughs> all of us. Yeah. yeah. Years later, when we think of this, it's kind of very 
you know, touching it when you see the city empty yeah. and everyone is so displaying for this. Yes. We all done a lot for this. Not yeah. not just the government, not just the people. Everyone around here, yeah. we did a lot for yeah. this. All together. Yeah. Now, our nation has achieved a decisive victory in fighting against COVID-19, mm -hmm. but uh, the continued spread of the pandemic in other countries are still of our great concern. In face of the pandemic, no one can stay righteous alone, right? Mm -hmm. No matter where we come from and where we are, we stand as a community with a shared future. Mm -hmm. For you, looking back for several years ago, I'm very curious about the reason why you choose to come to China and choose this country as the country you study in. Mm. Yeah. Well, me, I have never been abroad alone before coming to mm. China. Uh, the first time I took a bus in Shanghai, oh. it felt like uh, I was making movies. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> for example, Chinese eat together. Especially, not only do you smoke at wedding, uh, but you gave it as a gift. It's quite, it's quite fun, you know. I, I really enjoyed that that moment. Did you get one? Uh, well, <laughs> I get, but I do not smoke. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't smoke. That's really interesting for yeah. you. Yes, yeah. exactly. It was kind, kind of yeah. fun. So many fresh things. <laughs> yes, exactly. New things for me. And I know you, you told, you told us about the food and like the. So, did you like? Do you have any favorite food in China? No, I mean it's uh, in Nanjing because I've been living in Nanjing and I hate leaving this place. My favorite food, of course, is uh, fuzo mia chou tofu. Have you ever tried that? I no, not oh right. my god, oh, man, you guys don't know what you are missing. I smell <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, don't, smell, don't, 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 don't mind about the smell, just eat it. Uh, this is a special Nanjing. Dish, you guys will try it. For me, Mian is okay. I oh, come on. <laughs> Mian is for people from the north. You are not the Nanjing than here. <laughs> okay, how about you? How is your favorite food? Um, I would say I just love dumplings. <laughs> they're very, they're very simple, but um, in Russia we have a different type of dumplings. Yeah. And it's more of, with meat, but here I just love that with corn. Oh, and, uh, vegetables. Oh, vegetables. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's it's very not bad, not bad. And you? I eat Russian food. <laughs> <laughs> eat Russian food in Nanjing? Oh, come on. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not bad. Sounds like it. everyone has different opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, just come to China and uh, have a taste of it by, by yourself, then you can like have an opinion whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. There are also many big cities here in China, and Nanjing is also one of them, right? Do you like it? Yeah, you? yeah of course. I think everyone likes Nanjing. Yeah, I've been to many cities in China already, like Shanghai, Beijing, uh, Tanzhou, Shenzhen, and many others. And I think Nanjing is still one of my favorite, so I'm happy to live here. And I can say that all of these big cities, they may look uh, similar, mm -hmm. but at the same time they are really, really different, and oh. all of them have like its own unique uh, like style, uh, spirit. And also, I want to mention that traveling around China is is really, really cool. Uh, it's a lot easier than in other countries um, because of this like fast trains that ha we have here. So it just makes it very easy. And also, that you can only you only need your phone. Um, you don't need any cash, so you can just use a phone to buy tickets and use it for payments, so it's super convenient. Yeah. That's very convenient. That's really cool. mm -hmm. Maybe passport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course the passport thing. Maybe carry the passport. Yeah. And one of the top universities in China, uh, SEU is also very famous in Nanjing here. And what do you like best about Southeast University? Oh, uh, well... People standing here has a positive approach for the international students' interaction with different people from, you can see, like from different yeah. cultures. Culture. Basically, it helps uh, in cultural exchange and give them an opportunity to see daily life yeah. challenges. I think this is what I would think. Yeah, we also have several campuses here, yes. right? Yes, yes, which one do you prefer and why? <laughs> Uh, I live in Jeonpu campus, uh, so it's uh, south uh, of Nanjing, 
and um, it's, it feels like a huge park actually because we have a lot of trees, it's very green, uh, different flowers, it's very beautiful especially in spring and we have even lake um, and uh, one of the central buildings is the library mm -hmm. uh, which attracts a lot of people from different uh, districts of different um, social uh, dorms, <laughs> <laughs> uh, different dorms, so mm -hmm. library is one of the most very place of mine because it just reflects the Chinese spirit mm -hmm. because all students there they're so hard working and uh, it's, it was crazy for me so um, <laughs> actually in Russia back to school I never had the opportunity to go to library I don't know it's not common and um, here when I came to China it's just um, it makes you also um, take this spirit on you just uh, start uh, and doing your homeworks, uh, studying, everything. So um, and that's why I think um, CU made, uh, SEU made uh, a lot of efforts to make this campus convenient, and um, yeah, I like it. it. Made me remind, remember my my there. Right? <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah, that's why uh, I choose uh, SEU. The university is highly regarded for it is research facility. The environment is very uh, welcoming and friendly towards international students. Uh, the professor's educational backgrounds are very astonishing, especially my professor, Jian Lao Sir. Yes, because I always uh, get uh, the love and the support same as my family giving. Yes. And I am the last student of hers. Oh. Yes, yeah, she she gonna soon retire. Retire. Yes. Good. So the last one. <laughs> so about me, I just wanted to learn Chinese language and know more about Chinese culture. That's why I came to China, and I chose Southeast University because of its rating, of course, it's very high, and also because it's located in Nanjing, and I just like Nanjing more. Yeah. And among all these days in SEU, there must be some remarkable memories of you. And will you please just share with us some of the most impress impressive moments in your memory at SEU? Uh, mm -hmm. For me, it's not really... It's a very touching moment for me because a few years ago I was diagnosed with uh, my major depression. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it really touched me the way everybody from the international office tried to get me out of that tough situation. I remember how helpful Mrs. Xu Alvasti was, and uh, of course my my friend, uh, Mr. Johnson. They, they did a lot of things for me, and I feel better, and I have almost all my, my life to thank because of, because, to, to thank because of them. Uh, and I also I would like to. So you find now, right? No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but you know, when I when I when I think about it, it still touch me, and it's, it's still very emotional for me for, mm -hmm. to to try to to, to tell the story. And um, I would also like to thank my supervisor, who has, who has been more than a teacher for me. I think you can see that in South Southeast we have the teachers really really yeah, really care about the students. Not only a teacher, but also like a family. Yes. It's like a family. Yeah. I'm glad that you are fine now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For me, maybe one of the most impressive moments were when me, together with Kalina and uh, some other Chinese students, we took part in one competition. We had to make an advertisement. And sometime later, we found out that we won. So it was real cool. Oh, you went together. Yeah. It was nice. It was very interesting. We were um, making as a team with one uh, Chinese girl, and we were advertising um, fashion masks. Oh. Oh. Not masks right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a trophy? Uh, <laughs> kind of. No. <laughs> Not trophy, but uh, high pay. But. <laughs> okay. uh, but as for me, my most one of the most um, memorable moments is about archery competition. Uh, I had never practiced it before coming to uh, SEU, but uh, I decided to try because we have so many interest clubs. It's like endless amount that you can try from sport to I don't know something 
relates to mechanical stuff. So I decided to try archery and uh, I had been practicing maybe for three months there and uh, they told me that they had a competition so I decided to take part. It was very awkward because I was only <laughs> one foreigner and I was super nervous and that's why unfortunately my hands were shaking so it, like my results were bad um, but at least it's I have this memory so oh, it was cool. it was quite interesting. Uh, a lot of fun huh? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> what about you? Uh, for me uh, that I truly long for is my family Ooh. the way it used to be uh, there have been so many events uh, and each has changed uh, the family in home profoundly uh, but Yes, as usual, my wife back home, and I am missing her. Oh man! And I have to say, I really love her. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no, no. So, 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 so. I know she's like pregnant. Right? Yeah, she's pregnant, and I'm soon gonna be dad. Oh, oh congratulations! congratulations. Yeah, that's You're gonna be a good daddy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In the end, would you like to send you a warm invitation to all the students who might be just watching this interview right now? Yeah, yes, of course. Of course. Well, Welcome to China. China. We'll, we'll see you, see you at SCU. SCU.